Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to our channel, and this is the 15th video of our exciting series Builder on Virtual Assistant. And today, in this video, we're going to add Google Bot in our Virtual Assistant. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. Sit back, relax, and let's get started. So, to connect Bot with our Jarvis, we're going to use a package called Bot API, which allows us to interact with Google Bot from Python. So, let me just install this package. Let me copy this, go and open up the terminal and paste that thing and hit the enter. Then it's going to install BAD API in my computer. Now let us create a folder called language model. And in the language model, we're going to write the code for our Google bar. So let me create a file called bar.py bar cookie. Okay. Now we're going to control the Google bot with some cookies from the website. So we'll create a dictionary object cookies equals and it's going to store all the cookies that we need to control Google bot. So let me write this. And we need three cookies to perform this action. So let me duplicate. And here in the first, we need a cookie whose name is Lodas Lodas Secure Lodas One PSID. This is the first cookie that we need. And just copy this thing, paste it. And second one is PSID DS. And the third one is PSID CC. Okay. So now just go to a browser and head over to bard bard.google.com and once you're there just right click and click on spec so first go on application then click on cookies then click on bard.google.com and here you will see this key value just copy this value and paste it over there and after that what we have we have ts let me search for that ts here it is let me copy copy paste and the last one copy paste okay so why am i getting error wait a second i need to use curly bracket instead of this big bracket okay now let us create a variable called bar equals bar cookies and here we're going to provide cookie dict equals cookies now let us uh, create a variable query equals and let us store a query call let us store a query called what is ai and then we'll create a variable response equals bar dot get answer to the query we are trying to send content okay now that we have got the response let's just print the response okay so now let me run i think it should work properly and there you go it is working properly now that we have got the bar let us create a loop for it so in a while one there's this thing in here in the query input all right hello okay see it's working so yeah that's much for today's video i hope you like it so if you like it then do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye